Welcome to our video tutorial on the Swarovski Optic EL range with tracking assistant. And just like with all other Swarovski Optic binoculars, you must do the following. Attach the neck strap, adjust the four position eye cups, and set the interpupillary distance. Setting the diopters on the EL range with tracking assistant is a different process than our previous EL range or any other Swarovski Optic binocular. Keep the right objective cover closed and pull out both diopter adjustment rings. Turn both diopter rings counterclockwise or to the left as far as they'll go. Press and hold the mode button for four seconds. This takes you to the diopter adjustment mode where the display will stay on for 60 seconds. Now, turn the right diopter eyepiece clockwise until the display is sharp. Push the right diopter ring back down and open the right objective lens cover. Using the focus wheel to focus the right side to focus on a distant object basically 25 to 50 yards while keeping the left eye closed. Now look at the same object through the left side while keeping your right eye closed. Turn the diopter ring clockwise until the object becomes very sharp. Push the left diopter ring back down. The display focus, the right side focus, the left side focus is now set for your eyes individually. All further focusing only needs to be done with the central focus wheel. Install the EL Range app on your smartphone or tablet. Activate Bluetooth on your smartphone and the EL Range itself. On the EL range, press the measurement button and mode button simultaneously for three seconds until the LED light flashes blue. Connect the smartphone and the EL range via Bluetooth. To do this, select the serial number of your EL range in the app. You'll find the serial number under your right side diopter. Once you are connected, the blue status LED light stays lit up. Now, you can transfer the settings from the app to the EL range. The data from the last three measurements is also transferred from the EL range to the app. The app always shows you the exact time of the last synchronization. To switch off Bluetooth, press the mode button for two seconds. You may want to fine tune the position of the eye cups to get the most comfortable position for your individual eye relief and positioning of the display in the right side barrel. Operation, one-off measurement. Push the measurement button down to acquire the aiming circle in the right barrel. Put the aiming circle on the object you wish to range, release the button, and the range will appear in the right side barrel. Scan mode, moving targets can be continuously ranged in scan mode. To engage scan mode, hold the measurement button down for three seconds. Then put the aiming circle on the moving target itself. You can scan for up to 120 seconds as long as the measurement button is pressed down. The main features inside the display are the aiming circle, the distance measurement either in yards or meters, Display of a second line, if on, underneath the distance measurement that can show you the downrange correction value for your rifle. Scope in MOA, MRAD, or MIL. A number of clicks in inches and centimeters. There's also a compass symbol, an angle symbol, a degree symbol, and a battery symbol. The EL range with tracking assistant is designed to be used with your smartphone or tablet by downloading the EL Range app. Much of the ballistic information in up to three rifles can be entered. The atmospheric data, display preferences, and etc. is entered in your phone and can be changed on your phone or the binocular itself. Here is a brief description of the additional functions and programs that come under control of the mode button. Tracking assistant for navigating to the last location measured. This can be done with your smartphone and or your tablet where there is cell service or with the EL range binocular itself. 
Calibrating the internal compass is recommended regularly to ensure maximum precision of both the compass and the tracking assistant. Recalibration is highly recommended when moving to a new hunting ground or in the event of major temperature fluctuations. To calibrate the compass in the EL range, push the mode button and hold it for two seconds. Push the mode button a second time to get the COMP and then push the measurement button once to get a blinking CAL for calibrate. Push the measurement button again so that CAL is not blinking and a green blinking light appears next to the mode button. Now holding the EL range binoculars at a diagonal position to yourself, start to rotate the binoculars. Keep rotating the binoculars until the blinking green light turns solid green and then goes off. You can actively exit this mode by pressing the measurement button. Try to stay at least several feet away from any metal objects, such as cars, rifle barrels, even magnetic clasps on watches, etc. when calibrating the compass in your EL range. Plus, display of the second line, off. This is the factory default setting. Correction value in MOA. Correction value in MRAD or MIL. And correction value in centimeters or inches. Correction value by the number of clicks, tilt angle minus up, down, plus in degrees, compass direction in degrees, i.e. 360 degrees north, 90 degrees east, 180 degrees south, and 270 degrees west. Cal, C-A-L, adjusted shooting distance, top line. This is the actual shooting distance at a steep angle. Example, 300 yards. Bottom line, ballistically compensated distance for that steep angle. For example, 270 yards to adjust for a 270 yard shot. Light, brightness settings. There are five brightness settings. Number three is the default factory setting. Atmos data, this is the mode that will display the current temperature and air pressure. Units, metric, meters, imperial yards. The EL range defaults to meters from the factory. Rifle. After you have entered up to three rifles and cartridges into your smartphone or tablet, you can choose on the binocular or on your phone the rifle that you're hunting with. A more detailed description on some of these will come a little bit later to show you some real world possibilities with the EL range tracking assistant and the growing popularity of dialing for elevation. The settings in the app. Here in settings, you can select the following. Your second line, which is MRAD, MOA, clicks, etc., all the different things, the brightness level from one to five, display in units, meaning yards or meters, the temperature units, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, air pressure units in HG or HPA, and also your rifle selection, whether it's number one, number two, or number three. Rifle configurations in the app. Now that you're connected to the EL Range app, by the serial number, you can enter up to three rifle cartridges that you will be using. Under rifle configurations, choose ballistic rifle one to enter your first rifle cartridge. When calibration comes up, choose your Swarovski optic rifle scope, then select sight height above bore. This is the height between the bore axis and the scope axis. This typically defaults to 1.5 inches but you can change it for a more exact measurement. Then you can choose a factory cartridge or hand load under ammunition. For a factory load from the database, the G1 ballistic coefficient automatically appears. Here, if you're satisfied with the factory setting from the database, click on the check mark above the upper right hand corner to enter the cartridge in rifle one. You do have the option to also enter the G7 ballistic coefficient, but you must look it up beforehand and enter it in manually, if it's available from the manufacturer. If you have entered hand-loaded data or G7 ballistic coefficient, then click on the check mark in the upper right-hand corner. This will bring you back to the calibration. Next, you have the conditions field with altitude that affects air pressure and temperature. Enter if you know them, then click on the check mark. If you don't know, don't worry about it because the EL range will automatically read the air pressure and the temperature. 
Next is the zero range or MRD. Enter the zero range you wish to zero your rifle at, i.e. 100 yards or 200 yards. We recommend you keep the calculate MRD button off. This is a popular method of using rifle ballistics for hunting in Europe, but it's virtually unheard of here in North America. Click on the check mark. Now you are back at the calibration again. Hit submit in the green box. Configuring the EL range directly on the binoculars itself. Selecting the programs and adjusting the settings, press and hold the mode button for two seconds. This takes you to the main menu. Then press the measurement button to go to the relevant settings under the main menu. Use the mode button to switch between settings and confirm your selection via the measurement button. There are eight functions in the mode menu in this order. Track or tracking assistance, COMP, calibrate the compass, plus light is the brightness level, atmos data, the temperature and air pressure, units, which is imperial or metric, and then the rifle, one, two, and three, the menu for exit. Example, so say you wanted to set the EL range to have the second line read a correction value in MRAD. Push the mode button for two seconds. You will first see track. Push the mode button again, you will get comp or C-O-M-P. Push the mode button a third time and you will get plus. Now hit the measurement button once. So whatever is reading below plus is blinking, while it's blinking, keep hitting the mode button going through the selections until MRAD appears blinking. When it does appear blinking, hit the measurement button once more to stop it from blinking and to keep it in the MRAD mode. Press and hold the mode button for two seconds to leave the mode menu. Your settings have now been saved. Tracking Assistant. The Tracking Assistant is a very uniquely and innovative feature on the EL range. The purpose of the Tracking Assistant is to help a hunter find a game animal that may have gone immediately out of sight after the rifle's recoil or any other reason. It can also be used to navigate from one area to another in a difficult or hilly terrain. The Tracking Assistant can be used in one of two ways, either on your smartphone or on the EL range binocular itself. You do need cell service to use your smartphone. First, activate a Bluetooth connection between your smartphone and the EL range. Press the mode and measurement buttons at the same time for three seconds until the LED light flashes blue, the LED that's next to the mode button. Make sure you are in your EL range app. Under tracking assistant in the app, click on get measurement button. The EL range will remember the last three measurements that have been taken. Choose the measurement that you believe is the one you need. A starting point screen will appear. You can choose automatic if you are still at the exact point of the initial measurement, in other words, where you took your shot. If you have slightly moved, you can choose manual. Say you choose automatic, a map will appear showing the starting point and a direction. Then tap on the direction button at the bottom. Simply follow the arrow and the yardage to the LRF measurement distance you can choose in the tracking assistant field. The Bluetooth will automatically time out while using the app. Using the tracking assistant via the EL range binocular, this feature will come in very handy where there is no cell service. Here too, the EL range will remember the last three ranges taken. For example, say you want to range something at 330 yards. Press the mode button. The first function you will see is track. Hit the measurement button three times to see and find out the last three yardage distance taken. All of them should be flashing. Choose the 330 yards you were looking for. Then hit the measurement button again so it says on. Leave a mark to look at where you shot from. Now start walking towards where you saw the game animal go out of sight. It has to be at least 20 yards or so. If you turn around and range where you just came from, the EL range should say about 310 yards to go. If you walk another 80 yards towards where you saw the game animal go out of sight, now you're 100 yards forward of that position and range back where you took the shot from, 
The range should say about 230 yards with some left-right correction out. If you walked approximately another 100 yards towards where you saw the last animal where he was and range back to where you took the shot from, the range should say about 330 yards with some left-right correction arrows. Hopefully, at this point, you can find what you were looking for. Leave track, T-R-A-C-K, by pressing and holding the mode button for two seconds. You have to actively exit this mode. It does not time out. Light, adjusting the brightness. The brightness level defaults to level three, or the middle of the range of brightness from the factory. Brightness level one is the lowest intensity for very low light or even nighttime use. Level five is for a very bright daytime condition. To change the intensity, hold the mode button down for two seconds until you see track. Keep pressing the mode button until you see light with a number under it, one through five. Press the measurement button to get the number blinking then press the mode button to get the desired intensity, and press the measurement button again to keep it at that desired intensity. Atmos data. Press the mode button for two seconds. Go through the menu until you come to Atmos data. Press the measurement button once for current temperature. Press the mode button again for current air pressure. Press the mode button again to get Atmos to the linking exit Press the measurement button again to get back to the atmospheric data. Press the mode button a few more times to get to menu exit, then press the measurement button to exit itself. Or in this mode, the data display will time out after approximately one minute. Rifle, firearm selection. Here, you can select the firearm you are currently using and the corresponding ballistic correction. You can find the caliber in each ballistic for each firearm up to three different firearms that you have entered data or in the EL Range app. Hopefully this video tutorial helped. For more information on our EL Range with Tracking Assistant, please visit our website at swarovskioptic.com.